well, I just wanted to give a little bit of an update on the wrap and I guess how it's holding up. Um, I've had a couple of people ask me um, on some of the forums and, uh, you know, it's been over a month now that I've had it. Uh, one thing that I've noticed with, uh, with the wrap is that, I guess with the satin wrap, it definitely seems to, to see, it seems to hold its, well, it seems to look cleaner than I guess the car when it was in black. And obviously black is probably one of the toughest colors to keep clean. But I mean, the car hasn't been washed in probably a week or two. Um, a lot of times I use the express wash. Um, you know, I have a bottle, you know, the Meguiar's express wash, the rinse free. So I just spray the area down. Um, you know, probably, I guess I can probably show you. Um, but if you look at the if you look at the vehicle, I mean, it looks from far from from back, you know, from back here, it looks pretty clean. It looks like it's actually really clean. But if you get up close on it, it is pretty dirty. Um, you can see there all that dirt, you know. So that's something where from a couple feet back, you can't tell, you know. And I actually like that about the wrap. Um, but with this rinseless wrap, you just go ahead and you just spray the area off. And I've already put, you know, a seal on here. You know, I use Chemical Guys Jet Seal, but just to give you a quick, you know, wasn't planning to do this, but as long as I'm here, might as well clean one of the panels. So I just soak it, so a lot of the dirt will just, you know, run off. And I usually, you know, we'll get a clean rag and just wipe it down. I don't seem to you know notice any scratches or anything when I'm using this. I mean, I used it on the paint before when it had the ceramic coat. Sometimes you can go over it with a clean cloth uh, afterwards. And that's how I take care of it all most of the time. I can see now, you know, that was pretty dirty before. And now it's pretty clean. But as you can see, you know, you know, the wrap's held up pretty well, it hasn't peeled or come up anywhere. Um, you know, door jam. That's what it looks like, you know. It's not coming up anywhere. So it's been, it's been holding up. So that's just a little bit of an update. Um, you know, on, the, I guess, the way that the wrap's been holding up. And uh, so far, pretty happy with it. You know, definitely got a lot of compliments or more compliments with the car wrap than I did when it was black. I guess, you know, obviously it stands out a little better. But that's just an update. You know, the emblems are holding up pretty well. I really haven't had to do any touch-ups. Everything's, you know, held up really well. That's just a little bit of an update on, you know, the wrap. And obviously, I'll do some more updates uh, after the winter. You know, I do drive the car all year round. Um, you know, I'm in Maryland, you know, the D.C. metro area. So I'm about, uh, I think about say six miles away from the D.C. Washington, D.C. border. Um, but as you can see, you know, it's held up really well. I'm really happy with the Avery Dennison wrap, you know, with the, the, the installation, you know, was a lot, well, I can't compare it to anything else, honestly, because I haven't used other materials. You know, Avery Dennison is the only one I've used and obviously I read up a lot on it and, 
and uh, it's got a lot of good reviews. So that's an update just on the way that the wrap is holding up. I hope you guys enjoy and hope you subscribe and follow. And if you guys can give me any comments, um, anything else you, you know, any, anything else that you want to know about the Porsche 911 uh, Carrera, um, maintenance wise, you know, or anything else, um, I'd appreciate any comments, you know, I'll answer the comments and if, uh, if you need something that more detailed, you know, I can make another video, um, so that, you know, if there's something that comes up that you guys want to know, then if I can help out, then that's what I'm here for. Y'all take care.